with you in tech market you must have heard of gpt chat gpt and uh, almost everyone of you must have used it uh, and uh, it has become a reason of war between two big tech giants uh, the microsoft and google so what is so special in chat gpt and why it has become a key competitor to Google's uh, means that they are proposing IAI based translator also, but uh, still that is not quite as efficient as ChatGPT as per the rumors. But uh, why it has become so important, why it is uh, offering the kind of key needs of people and uh, how the Google is struggling to cope up with this particular issue. So that's why in this particular video, we are going to discuss that particular research area, which is key to GPT. So, hey there, my name is Rohit Kumar, and today we are going to discuss about text generation. GPT, where uh, a specific uh, implementation model of GPT is Chat GPT, where you are going to have a kind of uh, uh, normal conversation in the form of text, it means the textual uh, exchange of ideas with a machine, where a AI based model is running, and that model is performing its a task, means having a kind of conversation with you, like a real human is having a conversation with you. But in addition to human-like uh, conversation skills, it is also having the immense knowledge in the form of very huge data set of information. And that's why it is able to cope up all your uh, related questions with us. And it is going to give all the probable answers in their suitable form. So that's why that's the reason that uh, Microsoft has taken a big leap over Google. And now Google is trying to catch up because Google just gives you the links of the information, but it is directly giving you the related information. So let's uh, see what is text generation. So text generation is nothing but uh, it's a, a form of uh, having uh, text generated through some machine. And uh, obviously when the machine is working behind the scene, then a lot of AI or the ML based techniques are going to come into picture. And NLP is obviously going to be part of it because ultimately you are trying to convert the natural languages into different forms because the user might be of any particular orientation. So here uh, they have defined uh, that uh, text generation models, also known as the casual language models, can be uh, trained uh, on code from the sketch to help the programs. So obviously when we are talking about uh, any particular uh, database, any particular NLP problem, any particular AI based models, then there are some models which are going to convert one form of data or one form of language into another form of language with some heuristic based intelligence so uh, if we see specifically then how all these things look like so you can see over here that uh, when we see some rnn or the some uh, tons of flow based implementation they look like this and uh, specifically there are some different key terms uh, like uh, the data to text, to text to text, image to text, text to image based generation. So all these things uh, again become a separate research domain. So we are not going to delve into that. I will highly recommend you to go through this particular work, Advisorial Ranking for Language Generation. It focuses on the specific type uh, of um, uh, problem within this uh, natural language processing. And they discusses about the generative adversarial network means again. So these networks uh, help you to synthesize data and uh, these have proven their specific success. So if you are interested, you can go on to the GAN related papers. You can find that their success stories. Number of papers I have used GANs and they have produced excellent results. Then coming on to the specific uh, uh, synthesis output, then there are different sorts of structures uh, having the natural language processing based description as well as the uh, different uh, adversarial network are there. And uh, in this work, the authors have also proposed a specific GAN named Frank GAN. And uh, what is the purpose? It helps to generate the high quality language descriptions. So uh, what is this? It means a high quality language description. Language means a text and a text means that it is generating some sort of combination of words. So ultimately it is text generation. So this work um, is uh, available over here in Arzai repository and you can have the PDF form of this because it's a, a kind of public, uh, really available public uh, repository. And in this archive, it's uh, submitted over here in 2018, not a very old work and uh, coming on to um, this particular thing again. Then in the work, you will find some of the related details uh, as we have already discussed the abstract, so they have discussed some basic introduction based on the language generation, how it is done, like this, what are the different models or the sort of 
different metrics which are used. Then they have discussed about GAN, then they have discussed about some of the related techniques uh, like the GANs, so then uh, the ranking framework, then the learning to rank. Then uh, they have discussed the um, some sort of methods, including the architecture uh, training and uh, uh, the specific sort of discussions that they have provided. And uh, further, they have moved on to different sorts of uh, data sets, uh, their specific uh, contribution with respect to the comparative analysis and how they have performed their analysis on a specific data set. So that's all from this particular work. But uh, in detail, when you go through it uh, as a beginner, it will help you a lot to understand the specific focus of text generation and how different techniques can be employed, what are the related analysis which are present and are having some state of the art related surveys or the contribution in the form of practical implementation. Okay. So in addition to this work, I will uh, tell you some of the related techniques with respect to text generation. Text generation can be addressed with the Markov processes or deep generative models like uh, LSTMs. And uh, there are different methods for text generation, including the BART. And obviously, GPT, as I told you, that chat GPT is the main focus nowadays, and uh, other GAN based approaches uh, because generative thing is always there. Okay. Then uh, there are different uh, works. Uh, one of the works, uh, as I told you, the this work uh, advertises ranking for language generation. Additionally, the text generation model in deep learning, et cetera, are available there. There are a number of data sets, a number of models are available there. In a data set, if I uh, uh, recommend you, then uh, there are uh, different uh, ROC stories. There is DART, there is CMUE, CMUSE, then there is CSL, then 1 billion word is there, then uh, the daily dialogue is there. Similarly, the different models, including the leak again is there, then aggressive BAE is there, then TGen++. Then STW Gen GP is there, and a BART is obviously there. Including all these things, there are number of libraries with number of respective papers, including the FairSec, T Gen, and the Transformers. And uh, when you come to the specific kind of task that you can do in this particular uh, domain of text generation, then let me tell you that uh, you can generate news, you can generate papers, you can generate a story. When you say paper generation, then a lot of people think that we can generate the research paper, but it is not thus kind of so easy because every uh, model is going to, or the every machine is going to work on the state of the art thing. But uh, what sort of definition of a state of the art you are employing? Research is highly cutting edge thing. And uh, this sort of uh, state of the art information is kind of, uh, very difficult if i don't say impossible very difficult to feed into a model because you need to be highly real time and uh, that's the quite difficulty additionally how you represent your work how you compare do the comparative analysis because uh, with what work you are doing the comparative analysis and all these things are available so that's a totally different uh, dimension we will make a separate video onto this that how to do all these things and uh, what are the kind of key challenges and is it possible or not? Uh, hopefully, as of now, it's uh, not a uh, bit popular. You can just have an outline of the work, but that outline will also be very vague, if I say. Now, coming to the uh, dialogue generation, means uh, in uh, text generation, you can generate dialogues, you can generate uh, stories. Again, the level of stories, the level of all these things might be uh, substantial, means uh, uh, it depends on the kind of training of the model and the kind of model you are using. As of now, we are having ChatGPT as of one of them. Then in future, Google will launch something. Then again, uh, Microsoft will do some improvement and will upload the next beta version or something like that. So this uh, fight will go on, but ultimately, this is the beauty of technological fights that ultimately the society is getting benefited. So moving on to, you may have the table to text generation, et cetera. Then uh, different sorts of factor generation, different sorts of uh, uh, instruction generation, like the navigation instruction, etc. Et how to move from one place to other. All these things are possible. Okay. Uh, now coming to the specific technical contribution from different authors. So there are a number of papers available, including the show and tell, uh, which is a uh, quite interesting topic where the neural image caption generator uh, is discussed. And it is a CVPR 2015 work. The CVPR is a top notch conference. And uh, I will recommend you to go through this particular work. Additionally, BART is there, which is discussed in ACL 2020, uh, where the denoising sequence to sequence pre training for natural language generation, translation, and comprehension is discussed. Coming to the SecGen, where the sequence generated adversarial network, 
uh, with proficient with policy gradient is discussed and uh, it is having a tensor flow implementation and uh, you can also have it's a good repository at github okay then uh, further there is a work where the hugging faces transformers is discussed the state of the art in national language processing is discussed with the PyTorch implementation and again the github repository is offering you with the caption transformers so that's all from my side for this particular video hope you must have liked all the details still if there is any uh, loophole is there and there might be a possibility that uh, some of the facts are wrong so i will recommend you also you to always cross verify the things and take the information from multiple sources and do the comparative analysis and then make up your mind so that's all thank you for watching happy learning